welcome to episode number 80, 80 of the Zines and Roger Crochet Vlogcast. Hello, how are you? You alright? I am Rosina, I'm a crochet designer. I live in the southwest of the UK and I'm going to make this snappy because it's already four minutes past five on a Tuesday afternoon. I've got to go to work tomorrow. How am I possibly going to edit, upload and do all the associated admin that goes with a podcast in just one evening? I don't know. Um, I'll try not to rush it too much. You know, you deserve me at my best. Um, but we'll see. And I also just realised that I've made the fundamental ummings already. There, That's a big old error. Every time I film, I promise myself, promise, promise myself, I'm not going to um, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to hesitate. I am going to speak eloquently. I am going to give you all my eye contact and I am going to be really articulate and amazeballs. It's very unlikely that that's going to happen and also I just feel like I'm playing a staring contest. So when I get distracted I'll look at myself in the viewfinder over there. I might look down here and yeah sure I'm gonna um, I'm gonna uh. So how are you? What are you up to? Have you managed to do much crochet? I have. I didn't think I was going to have much to show you. That turns out to be rubbish. I've got loads. Um, however, I'm still working on a commission and I've got another one to go before I can fully go full throttle on the getting stuff done by Christmas. And also there's far too many distractions because already I want to start projects that are brand new rather than finish off the ones that are there waiting to be done. Mostly that's the J.W. Anderson cardigan that everybody's making right now. Also known as the Harry Styles cardi. I wouldn't make it in chunky and I wouldn't make it as large as the free pattern that is available. I'm going to make mine in Aran in all my Aran stash. I'm not going to buy any more wool. I want to make it with what I've already got. But I do have some stipulations. I can only make it once I've finished some of my existing projects. So I need to get a move on. Anyway, what should we talk about first? Well, last episode, I was meant to do a giveaway and I completely forgot. I'd written it down on my list and everything. It's just, I don't know, I don't, I just, I missed it off the list, I wasn't reading it properly. There are lots of things I don't read properly and then I get things wrong and make a fool of myself. Uh, so, this is Revival. And I spoke about it last episode. It is a fabulous, fabulous jumper. A design by Heather, who is HG Designs Crochet, on here, YouTube, and on Instagram. This is her first major release. And I was a tester for it. You know the story, because I've talked about it quite a lot. But last episode I was supposed to do a pattern giveaway <laughs> and I forgot. I'm so sorry Heather. So I'm going to do it now. Um, so all you've got to do is leave a positive comment down below. You can say something nice about somebody else, about a crochet pattern you have seen, um, about anything you like. Just try and make it positive because I, I feel like we need cheering up at the moment. So maybe a a, a funny story or just a few lines of positivity then I will draw a winner at random and I, I think I could email it to you myself but I might get um, Heather to get in touch with you so that you get it direct from the actual designer um, but once the winner is picked they will get a copy of Revival for free um, but if you didn't want to wait for two weeks to find out if you have won it or not, you can buy this on Etsy. 
um, and I think Lovecraft as well. I have worn this so much already. It's just been washed so it's got that acrylic tightness and I should have put it in the tumble dryer to alleviate that dryness, that tightness. You know, sometimes it feels a little bit, not crisp and crunchy, those are the wrong words. But acrylic, once it's dried, is never quite the same as it was fresh off the hook. Um, and I think tumble drying normally uh, fixes that problem, but I don't use my tumble dryer if I can help it, because it's expensive to run. And the weather has been glorious the last few days, so why not take advantage of line drying? And that's the reason why I just got popped on the line. I've, I've, worn, I've worn it everywhere, I've worn it, even worn it to work. Um, one person at work who follows me on Instagram, she was just um, really nice about it. Other people, you can see them staring at it like, oh, that's a bit jazzy, isn't it? Um, a bit full on, a bit of a full on jumper. And to them I say, you're boring. <laughs> Not out loud, just in my head. But I probably would say it out loud if they decided to make a comment on my lovely jumper. Right. What shall I talk about first? I'm not, I talked about this before, but I just wanted to point out that I have indeed published the free pattern for these granny squares. Uh, I've made a few ends are now sewn in, I don't know if they were last time, but uh, yes, on my blog is the free pattern written down, should you wish to make yourself a few squares. I decided to publish it for free, because it's just a little square. I'd already written up the pattern because it featured in Simply Crochet Mag, uh, so it wasn't a hardship to just plop it on the blog. I've also just literally like 10-15 minutes ago hit publish on another free pattern. Now I feel like a bit of a hypocrite here because I have said probably a couple of times when I've got a beard in my bonnet about how uh, crochet designers aren't valued and too many people issue free patterns and then that devalues our work as designers. And here I am, just about that a few months ago, and I've just put two free designs up. Well one, they're really small and two, nobody, well may maybe it's me that should start the change but nobody's gonna pay money for just a rectangle of C to C. So I may as well just bang it up for free. Again I'd actually already written this up so it wasn't a hardship. This is a corner to corner Needle case. It's very, very simple. Uh, the pattern is now on my blog for free, but on that blog post I've put links to like Patreon and coffee so I can go, oi, buy me a coffee if you want. <laughs> and um, I did, I do pay WordPress for like, I was going to say it's the premium account, I don't know, can't remember what it is now. So I know I'm no longer on the free WordPress. So I pay about 100 quid a year to get ads. But unfortunately, I only get about 100 quid back from ads. So I don't make a profit on my blog. Just that's how people, other people make money when they do post like proper crochet design projects on their blog for free. They make shed loads of money from advertising. For some reason it's not working for me. I must be doing something wrong and I don't know what it is. Um, but I thought that may, well I just don't get the hits. If I got thousands of hits then sure I'd probably make some more money but I don't get the, the hits. I'm not out there. It's probably because I'm pants at SEO or I'm not using the right platforms. I think WordPress is probably a bit pants you need extra plugins to go elsewhere. The one I was told about, God, I don't know why I'm talking about this. The one I was told about, you need like a certain amount of hits per month in order for it to be worth doing. And I, anyway, that's a story for another day. That's free on the blog, is what that was about. And yes, I know I'm a hypocrite and I do apologise but 
it was just sat there. I wrote this pattern up ages ago and it was just a case of copying and pasting onto the new, like onto a blog post. It had been written up before for um, a particular publication but it was never chosen. Fine by me, that's how it works sometimes. But I just thought, well, if it sat there, I may as well give it to some people so that they can make it too rather than it just sort of gathering dust. And the reason, one of the reasons why I published it was because long story long, I did a Patreon video last week, the weekend actually, and I was going through my samples, some old, some new, and that was one of them, and I'd said, oh, you know, thinking about publishing this one, what do you reckon? And it was a resounding, yes, you should. Um, so... In that respect, Patreon, pa my patrons, Zines and Roger patrons, are getting a say in what I'm publishing. That might actually be quite a nice little angle to pass to go down. I mean, it's the same with that cowl I did. I wouldn't have, that would not be out to testing right now. Had I not asked my patrons about it, it probably would have been another dust gatherer, so... If you're not, for, if yeah, so if you want to join Patreon, free patterns a lot of the time, extra content videos, and also a say in the decision making. I'm looking around for tissue because I can feel my nose is dripping. Excuse me. So what have I been working on? Some admin stuff actually, because the crochet in the main is commission. A commission. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. So it's playing catch up. So that one of the reasons why I'm sort of publishing those sorts of things as well is I feel like I'm playing catch up a bit. I need to. I don't like feeling like everything's a mess and there's this backlog uh, waiting. It's not a nice feeling and I want to try and be more organised. I really do. It's not in my nature. <laughs> But I don't want to talk about that because I'm pretty sure I've complained about that before. And also, on Instagram, currently, it's the 1st of September today. And that means it's the start of... I'm going to tell you, Yarn Friends... What did what Yarn Friends do? Yarn Friends Rock. <laughs> Hashtag Yarn Friends Rock. It's a month-long Insta challenge, and I've decided to take part. I'm not going to take part every day because that's um, too big a challenge. But I'm going to definitely go there when I can, and also you know, try and find some sort of convoluted uh, justification for my random photo being completely linked to the day's challenge whatever that may be. If anyone can do that, it's me. I can find anything to fit. Like, there was one time I did a commission. I can't remember, but I misread the brief and I missed a whole chunk of what it was supposed to be about. And I'd already come up with the, the design I wanted to do. I had already like worked up a swatch and everything thinking oh my god this is gonna be perfect and then I reread the brief before I sent it off and went oh bugger I'm supposed to have written a whole thing about the reason behind this design being xyz dead and I hadn't done it I managed to wangle it to fit even though it's completely unrelated but it worked so Anyway, that's that's the life of being a creative, right? <laughs> so Yarn Friends Rock has a prompt every day for September. So today, today's one is September the 1st, so it's a picture of yourself. This is me as your prompt, so it doesn't have to be a picture of yourself. It could be tomorrow's prompt is nature inspired, then how I became yarny, flat lay, Saturday share, colour makes me happy, Yarny home, pretty stacks, 
inspiration, favourite make, exploded rainbow, etc, etc. There are 30 prompts. So if you want to join in on Insta, do that. It's being hosted by Unicorn Puffs and Rainbows, Hook One Pearl One, Attic 24 and Sowing the Seeds of Love. So do check it out if you're on Insta. If you went on my Insta, you'll see the hashtag and you'll be able to find the prompts. But what I am doing is basically following Heather from Hook One Pearl One and she's got all the prompts and stuff written thusly. So you should be able to find that. I can't remember why I started talking about that. That was a tangent and I've got lost on the way. I was talking about admin stuff, catching up. And one of those things is getting this blanket out for release. I've done it. Um, I've been wanting to do it for ages, but to be honest with you, I, I was also putting it off because I didn't have the blanket in my possession for a very long time. It, it was in quarantine in an office of um, a publisher's. Uh, it was in... This was um, part of a crochet along in a magazine that... It was supposed to be across ten issues, but I think they ended up doing it across five in the end. And actually, they whole Covid shebang has proven too tough and this magazine is not going to be published anymore so um, but it's a system it was a system magazine of crochet now magazine to the same publishing house as them um, but I've released it as one giant pattern and each block is a separate pattern you join them all together and then you do a lovely border let's see if I can hold it up I don't know what you can see, I'm terribly sorry. So it's a big old bubby blanket, I suppose. It's a nice one for babies actually because of the bold shapes and colours. And it's called Throwing Shapes. I've used this is before as a King Cole ambassador, but it is actually King Cole yarn. It comes in 50 gram balls, which is pretty good for a project where you're using lots of different colours and you're not going to end up using 100 grams. You know, most of the acrylic DK weights come in 100 gram balls. This comes in 50 gram balls, which is perfect when you just want splashes of colour. Where have I saved it so I can have a look? Not remember patterns, magazine patterns. Are you in there? Throwing shapes. Sorry, just going through my drive to try and find the pattern so I can tell you the deets. Um, King Cole Big Value. There we go. <laughs> it's a 75 centimeter square. The pattern is about 17 pages long. <laughs> it's got lots of details in it. Each of the square patterns and then how to put it together and stuff like that. I love the border. I love that, I do. So each square is a different stitch. I wanted that. That was part of the... I think that must have been part of the brief. They needed sort of... They all needed to be different but brought together, so... And they wanted a bold geometric design, so I think that fits. And so that is now available in all the usual places. I haven't done a discount on it because I think. Let me write this down. Oh, I haven't got a pen, probably. I'm going to do a flash sale. Coming up to autumn, people are going to start thinking about Christmas. So, if I do 20% of everything in Etsy and Ravelry until basically this is going to be an early bird type deal, a flash sale, as after all, flash sales, no point having a flash sale that lasts two months. 
Um, I'm gonna do it so it ends on Sunday night. So if you've watched this video when it came out, you've got plenty of time to find yourself a bargain. Um, and if you're watching after whatever date Sunday is, I'm terribly sorry, but um, I'm sure there'll be another flash sale at some point in the future. I usually do about two a year. Defo do one on my birthday, and um, which is in the spring, and then this one was my autumn one. What's the date on Sunday? Sunday the 6th. And that'll be ending midnight GMT. No, we're still in BST. Um, I did do in my thing on Instagram saying that I was sort of like quite disorganised. And that this is part of that. It's like I hadn't actually planned <laughs> what I was going to say with that. Or whether or not I was actually going to do a flash sale at all. Sorry if the screen is a bit bright. The sun is doing strange things. I'm working on two projects. I'm still working on my giant, giant red. I keep calling it giant red. And I've got an aversion to call in patterns by the colour that I make them in. Because not everybody's going to go around going, well, I'm going to make that in red. No, you can make it in whatever colour you choose. So if I call it giant red <laughs> and you make it and it's not red, well, that's stupid, isn't it? But gi giant something, I want to call it maybe, but I haven't got a name for it yet. I have had, had a few suggestions, but I don't think anything... I don't think anything's jumped out at me yet. It's one of those things where you know it when you when you when you know it. I am now what where was I? Did I how many did I have in my bag left waiting before? I think I had four and I've got two. But mind you, that's the third ball, so it's like grown by what? An extra ball since I last talked about it, which isn't loads. But we are talking massive now. But I'm still going to keep going. Oh, you bet I am. You want it big, you're going to get big. So, oh, I've just dropped the hook. So actually, like, if it's around my neck, it's only going down to here. So that's still not, like, major. I wonder how big it'll be next week, next fortnight, in the fortnight's time. Ah! Will I, <laughs> will I have... Well, I've finished it because I haven't blocked it yet. It's, this is a yarn that you probably don't need to block, but it would be nice to sort of stretch out those holes a bit. Perhaps I should have like used an even bigger hook. I'm using a fairly large hook, much bigger than the yarn recommends. I'm using a six and a half, and I think the yarn recommends four, so not much, much bigger. I should have gone up to a seven or eight, maybe four mil. Where are we? We are definitely past past bottom and at thigh. I, I don't know if I should aim for calf. I'm not sure if I've got enough for calf and whether or not it would just be bonkers to go calf anyway. I'll just keep going see what happens. I'll make a pact with you. I'm not going to show it again until it's finished because there's no point me just showing you a big big chunk of red. Because I've got nothing new to say about it other than um, it is a really nice, mindful project, actually. Provided you don't go wrong. If you went wrong, it would be a right pain because of the floof. It reminds me of marabou feathers. The kids love it, they snuggle up to it. The cat thinks it's amazing. But she needs to keep her grubby paws off. I was just checking because I had a funny feeling I hadn't hit record. I have. And then finally, 
I'm working on a project that I can't actually show you all of because some of the colours are brand spanking new and haven't been released yet. It is a King Cole project because I am a King Cole ambassador, as regular viewers will know. It smells like campfires because I took it, took it to a family party at the weekend and sat by a campfire and crocheted. It's a super chunky project. This is one of the colours I can show you because this is not a new one. This is already available, but oh my gosh, look at that. It's funny, I'm not a, I'm not a, a colour changing, I'm not a colour differenty yarn. Oh, that, I don't, that doesn't make sense. I'm not a fan of yarn that's all different colours like this. I like, I've, I've established, I think, that I like solid colours or yarns that have speckles in. I love a speckled yarn. But I don't like splotchy, blotchy colour changing yarn. And I don't like abrupt colour changing yarn when it's just stripes because you can't control where the stripes land. La di da di da. You end up cutting it. What's the point in it then? Um, and I don't really like the ones that are, this is plied all together with different shades and normally speaking I would say mm, not a fan this in its ball looks it looks so pretty this is um, Airheart the, the, the shade is Airheart it's, the range is Explorer Super Chunky I've been given a couple of colours that are new to the range and I'm incorporating them into a chunky scarf. I'm using another one in I'm interchanging that colourful different colour yarn with a plain yarn and I'm alternating the two so it's gonna I'm making a stripy scarf super chunky with blocks of colour and I'm making it with this hook which is I think a nine millimeter and I almost lost this because I was a little bit squiff by the end of the evening and I walked out of the field where all the campers were and then this had fallen out of my bag and I hadn't noticed and it wasn't until we went back the next morning to go and find some sticks for my boy because he wanted sticks to be guns he does like a gun um, so we went back to find his favourite sticks that he'd been playing with the night before and I just happened to stumble upon it squished down in the grass so that was a near miss I could have left this this might have been sat there in Dorset for just forever and I that that idea makes me sad but it, uh, yeah um, all of that absolutely smells smoky campfire but I don't mind that too much but that, I think, is going to be a free pattern because literally it's one stitch, so simple, that I would not feel right by going, give me your money, if it's literally just the one of the simplest stitches ever and super fast to make up. I might film that as a tutorial as well. I've, I've got tutorial urges occurring, bubbling up within. And so I might do a tutorial soon. I'm thinking that that would be a good one. And then because I got the yarn for free as well. And then I have the Kofi thing and I feel that, you know, getting, getting money from that kind of balances out the whole free thing and it makes me feel a lot easier about doing it. I sort of see that as the reward. Um... And I want to give back to people that do the Patreon, do the Kofi, by giving something in return. I guess that's that's what it is. And so if I was constantly like going, oh please buy me a coffee, and now pay for this pattern, I'd feel a bit tight. So it's about finding the balance, isn't it? So you know what I'm like. A lot of nonsense can fall from this mouth, um, and you'll just have to forgive me for it. And also it's very strange having conversations to yourself, to a camera, sometimes, because nobody can nobody can prompt you, nobody can sort of go, but hang on a minute, or say, oh, but didn't you say something entirely different before? Um, I haven't got any of that. 
and also I forget half the things I've said I forget half the thoughts I've had I also change my mind I learn new things and move forward my opinion a year ago is not perhaps the opinion of me now um, that's it I think I need to go make dinner I'm doing lamb, lamb kofta this evening with salad and then tomorrow I'm going to do courgette and chickpea curry with some Gujarati runner beans on the side. That's a recipe from Madha Jaffrey and it's literally the best, the best runner bean recipe ever. Apart from the fact that in Madha Jaffrey's book it's done with like dwarf beans or French beans or something and I've adapted it from the runners because I've got a major glut going on. Um, I have courgette cake coming out of my ears. What else? Courgette. Runner beans and courgette are both glut, 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 glutty. I made some runner bean chutney yesterday as well. I made a runner bean salad. I did a courgette salad. Stripped the courgettes with my peeler and put vinaigrette on them. Then we had courgette cake. Zucchini this is. Um, we had the courgette cake for pudding. And then tomorrow will be the chickpea and courgette curry with my runner beans on the side. I'm pretty glad I'm a fan of vegetables. <laughs> what else have we got going on? Beetroot as well. I've never carried a beetroot. I wonder what that's like. I'm not sure I'd like that. I like grating co cooked beetroot with a balsamic vinaigrette and then you crumble feta on top. That's well nice. Or I also like it roasted with my Sunday roast. Or what else do I do with my beetroot? I could probably make a beetroot cake as well, actually. I haven't tried that yet. I've got loads of beetroot left. What else have I got left? My salad, my, my lettuce is over. My tomatoes have failed. And I've only just planted out all my winter cabbages and my purple sprouting broccoli and stuff like that. So hopefully that'll still be all right. It's a bit late, but it's not won't be ready for months so um i don't know if you need to know this but yesterday i had a gardening sesh and so i felt good about it right seeing as it's gone off paste <laughs> um and yeah i need to go and make the dinner let's make sure i haven't forgotten anything this time no, I think that's everything actually. I'm going to say goodbye now because uh, I think we're done. I hope that was all right. Thank you so much for watching, joining me. Thank you to those that have bought patterns. Thank you to those that support me in other ways. It's all brilliant. I love it. And don't forget to leave your comment down below. And you can also give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you wish. Subscribe? Subscribe. Right, until next time. See us. Bye.